When Jesus came from heaven to earth, he healed the sick, fed the hungry, and taught the people. His day-to-day -day life involved showing the love of God to the people around him. Jesus said, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. The life that Jesus was referring to is the life of living in him. This life starts with death. The result of sin is death. And since we all sin, our destiny should be death. Instead of us paying for our sins, Jesus died in our place. It was a cruel death. It was by his wounds that we are healed. Jesus took our punishment so that we don't have to. So it is important to know that we are saved. However, our salvation is realized in the sacrament of baptism. This is when God washes away our sins, when our sins die with Christ, when we are buried with him through baptism into death. In baptism, the same Spirit of God that brought Jesus back to life comes into our hearts and joins us to all other people baptized before us. For by one Spirit, we are all baptized into one body, the body of Christ. Therefore, when we look at each other, we are not just individuals. Together, joined by one Spirit of God, we are one body. How can we then live selfish lives, focusing on ourselves, a life focused on I, yet I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. No, when one part of the body is suffering, we must help because we are one body. Yet still, when the end comes, because we died with Christ in our baptism, because we lived through Christ in our lives, we will also be raised to life as he was. When the end comes, we will be raised with all our baptized sisters and brothers. It is then, in heaven, with the risen Christ, when we shall live to the full. Thank you for watching. Remain blessed.